A Polish court ruled some elements of EU law are incompatible with the state, which has fueled expectations the Eastern European country may leave the bloc. Brexiteers soon voiced their support for the nation and its pursuit to maintain sovereignty. Commenting on the express.co.uk story, Dan Bolton claimed both populations want the best for their homelands. He said, 17.4 million proud Brexiteers. Supporting Polexit, Poland. We both want best for our homelands, not what's best for EU. A second person said, come on Poland we're behind you. Love how they manage to think that 100k people across the nation is a big success. when really it's only like 5% of the population. So does that mean 95% want out? Protests took place across Poland after the ruling from the Constitutional Tribunal Court last Thursday. According to the organizers, 100,000 people gathered in Warsaw to proclaim they will remain in the bloc despite fears it may leave. Commenting on the fears Poland may leave, Donald Tusk, former head of the European Council and leader of the opposition, Civic Platform, claimed government policies were jeopardizing the country's future. Mr. Tusk said, we know why they want to leave the EU. So that they can violate democratic rules with impunity. However, one express.co.uk reader lashed out at the Mr. Tusk's comments. He said, I'm not sure that Donald Tusk appreciates the irony of what he said. The Polish government may or may not want to be less democratic. But we certainly know that neither Brussels nor Berlin believes in a genuine democracy. They believe in the undemocratic abuse of power. Both Poland and Hungary have clashed with the EU. The EU has taken out rule of proceedings against both states amid claims each country has violated certain democratic principles such as the independence of the judiciary and journalists. In support of Poland, Hungary's Prime Minister Viktor Orban, stated EU law cannot trump a country's sovereignty. He also called on the EU institutions to respect the sovereignty of its member states. He said, the primacy of EU law can only apply in those areas where the EU has powers, the framework for this had been set out in the EU's treaties. 